<laughs> Welcome back to my Let's Play for Infinite Space. And I apologize for the lack of updates on Monday and Tuesday because any videos that have been coming up lately, I did um, several um, days before that because on Monday I basically just spent the entire day, you know, passed out asleep trying to catch up on the Z's. Sunday I got off work and it was a terrible day, so I just wasn't interested in doing basically anything. Besides sitting down and listening to music, and um, Tuesday I got caught up trying to basically binge watch um, the Rising of the Shield Heroes. So, yeah, I got basically nothing done for three days, which really sucks because it's gonna be hard to catch up on those. But you know, I figured might as well work on Infinite Space and try to at least get started on it. Well, now let's see what should we improve. Yeah, let's do it. Technically, you can, like, save these upgrades for other ships later on, but since we're going to be in this one for a while, we might as well do it. Um, attack range. <laughs> Let's face it, I like to be able to hit from further away. That way, you know, we can throw some carriers in this group at some point, you know, I'll be able to hopefully stay out of the enemy's range while pounding them. And not like Zarbon does, okay? Don't, don't think that. Hmm, let's, um, talk to the bartender and ask about a job. I've got a job for you on the Starline near Ostra. Seems certain trading company has lost contact with one of its transport ships. My client needs someone to go find it and try to salvage it. That's fine, but if it's near Medina, it was probably attacked by pirates, don't you think? There won't be anything left on board to salvage. Now they said not to worry about the cargo. The ship itself is what's really valuable, apparently. So you say, you think you can handle it? Yeah, sure, of course I can. Yeah, yeah, I'll go work on that. Oh, I won't, huh? Gotcha. So it's like a stealth ship or something, so it's meant to be, like, really hard to find. So is, is that why it's, like, super valuable? I mean, I like to have that kind of technology, so... You know, I can't blame them for wanting to keep it a secret. Now, let's see. Ah, oh, there it is, Ostrog. Well, now, let's do this. Come on, faster. Faster! Uh, Carrie, are you picking up any readings? Uh, just take a minute. I've got something! It's an extremely faint inflation reading 2,000 kilometers ahead. That transport ship? Probably care close in on but slowly and carefully. Don't want to penetrate too hard, after all. What? We got a lot docking clamps or something with it, I'm sure. Wait, our ship has a robotic arm? Is it a grappler ship? Damn, now I want to do some grappler combat like we're an outlaw star. <sighs> Probably. Yeah, we all expect it to be empty. Yeah, let's go drop the ship off. Yeah, they look at there on Sunday morning, and then party until Tuesday. Well, let's face it, that's what you do when you go to a bar. You, know, you gotta get completely plastered. I mean, come on. It's the rules. Oh, you, oh, you wanna pick a fight with me? You wanna pick a fight with me? The Dread, Captain Yuri? Yeah, I know, I'm not really that high up in the ranks yet, but you think people, you know, see my fleet of battleships and just... Run away! Like, you're a bunch of pirates going up against not one, but three warships! Like, you think you take a look at your own ships, you know, they're probably just hobbled together from, like, transport ships and whatnot, and be like, run. Run like the military's after you. Because <laughs> that's effectively what they're going up against. My fleet may be small, but seriously, stop screwing with it. I mean, eventually I'll get up to five ships and I'll be even harder to harass. I just don't get this whole, you know, let's try and charge in and die, you know, on the guy with the three warships. When they're pirates. I think they'd look for better targets of opportunity than me. Oh, you have, huh? Yeah, yeah we did. It's on my ship in the spaceport. I'll tell my crew to allow it to be hauled off. And here's your payment. 
Well, let's get out of here. We need to head to the medic organization HQ for a little recruitment job. Not that's going to be here, but we'll find out the details about where to go pick them up at from here. So, we're going to have to go down here and start messing with them. What do you want to come here for, Yuri? Those people who saved my life work for this organization. If they're here, I'd like to thank them for what they did for me. Well, ain't you the Palat one? I wouldn't even give a damn. I don't thank anybody. Heh. <laughs> Using a VR touch panel for a moment, then apparently having found the people in question calls them down to see Yuri. Ah, uh, you're that boy Yuri. I remember you. Oh, yeah, I remember you too. Looks like you're doing pretty good now. Hmm, mid 30s, huh? I'm Yuri. You saved my life that time. I wanted to come here and thank you for that. Oh, well, there's no other thank us. That's what the medic organization is here for. You see, but glad you came by to say hello. Yeah, I'm not gonna try and pronounce his name. <laughs> Larissa, I suppose. That's why I assume it's pronounced. You still have any pain anywhere? Ah, I'm fine now, thanks to you two. Yep, really good. <laughs> Don't jinx me, seriously. It's like talking to a nurse joy. Yeah. That's why Nurse Joy's so creepy. She always makes it sound like she wants your Pokemon to get hurt. Ruza, huh? Safe travels to you and uh, always take care of your health. Yep, thank you, both of you. And to think, they'll get to save even more lives on my ship. Because we're gonna recruit both of them. <laughs> now we're about to leave the over here two employees chatting away in the corridor. What is Dr. Kushin thinking? Going all the way to a remote planet like Ruza. Yeah, I know, right? Volunteering in a place like that isn't going to bring in the big donations now, is it? He's got to pick place that gets more press. Place that's really going to be good for PR. And for us. He's a good doctor and everything, but if he doesn't make us any money, then what good is he? Ha 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 ha. Yeah. We have an organization that's dedicated to helping people, and their main goal is to get rich quick. Eh, calm down, Tarlo. That's just the way the world works. Might be a volunteer organization, but it still needs money to buy medicine and equipment. Yeah, that was pretty rude. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yep, right behind him. Well, time to leave. And we're heading to Ruza, alright. Bum, bum, bum. Time to get out of this place. Pretty sure. Yep, this void gate. My question is, what was Toro talking about when he said Ostrog was near Medine? Like, like it's pretty far away. I mean, not from a galactic standpoint, I suppose, but far enough it would be the first thing I would think of. Take a look at this. Tension in Ian's voice very quickly runs to Ian's side. What is it? Look at this news report! The ship that was operating near Ruza was attacked by pirates and is now missing. Oh crap, baskets! Yeah, yeah they did. It, it was his ship, but he wasn't on it. Neither was his daughter, so you know, it's good. Okay. Why can't I use the void gate? Why do I have to go back to this planet to jump into the Void Gate? It's not cool, game. I didn't want to make that U-turn. Like, you're too fo close to the Void Gate, you can't go back now. Damn it. More idiots? Man, I gotta start charging them extra for the privilege of dying by my hand at this rate, right? Be like, I'm gonna send these guys a bill, you know, to pay for the privilege of fighting me. Like I'm like I'm some important captain. I'm working on it. I gotta be number one. Let's see, what sector do I want to go to here? I gotta, I gotta double check this. We're going to want to go to Lux B. Okay. Ah, so that's why they're so mean to it, right? It's out by the Lux base. 
something with space boonies. Eh, could be worse. They could have went to my home sector. Now that's really out in the middle of nowhere. No one goes to our home sector. Except, you know, some ships from the Central Authority to take over Ropesk, I guess. On the grounds that, you know, we kind of killed the ruler there. <laughs> so Central Gate is like, we'll just bring him into the fold. They'd love to expand, what can I say? Well, there we go. Dock 71. Is the mega organization shipped there? Yeah, I'm positive it is. Hmm. Trying to find what's left of the next ship sprawled across the deck. Sounds a wounded beast that's fallen to the ground, left for dead. This is bad. Can't believe they made it back to port. Maybe they were towed back. What about the doctor and his daughter? Oh, well, don't worry, they're still kicking. Yep, we're heading to the bar. Because where else are you going to pick up a doctor drowning his troubles, okay? Of course he's going to be in a bar. I mean, come on. That's where everyone has to be recruited, practically. In a bar. Uh, yeah. We're trying to make sure you're okay. <laughs> uh, so that's why you're here. You came all this way to see how we're doing, did you? I'm really touched. But you don't have to worry about us. We've got a lot of experience surviving in strife-ridden lands. No piddling little pirate attack is ever going to kill us off. Wow, that's pretty bold of him, but I suppose he's right since he's going to be joining our crew, so he doesn't have to worry about pirates anymore, because I kicked pirate butt. <laughs> Ship was pretty much done for the last time I laid eyes on it. Right on that count, I contacted the head office and asked them to send me a replacement, but didn't seem very um, enthusiastic about it. Well, that's no surprise, is it? You've been on their blacklist for ages. Blacklist? What for? We, we've already been over this. The guy goes to the middle of nowhere and does his work. So, no one likes him for that reason, because he doesn't make enough money. <laughs> I mean, how many people on Ruse are going to throw, you know, a couple hundred quid, you know, the way of the medic organization just because they were out here? Probably none. Yep. Got that right. What, it's true, isn't it? Oh, sure, the mega organization was great first, full of good intentions and all that, but now a bunch of stuffed shirt bureaucrat types have taken it over and ruined it. And they have to pay these guys such huge salaries, everybody's scrambling to rake in the donations. I say we just quit. Here, you know what you should do? You gotta hire us as part of your crew. You definitely need some medics. <laughs> She's got a point. Our medical staff is kind of non-existent at this point. Ah, come on, Dad. I don't know how much the medical organization has changed. Well... Hey, it's not a replacement ship. I don't see how I could possibly continue my work. Then let's do it. Alright, Larissa, you win. Yep, you can definitely. <laughs> I need some skilled medics. I'm not talking to any tough-looking guy. He's probably a weirdo. Now, let's see. Let's um, first have the elevator and place our new crew members. Not save. I want, want at my crew. Okay, let's um, put you in the medical area. Let's see, where's it at? No, that's the f that's for flying the ship. And that's for um, our dog fighters we don't have yet. It's terrible. Yep, now we have two really good doctors, so we can heal our men up faster, you know, after we send them off to fight. It's great. Very useful upgrade. Now then, let's um head back to the central sector, I suppose. Yep. Hmm. Darn it. Someone else wants to make a fight with me? Screw it, let's um close the gap, I guess. I'm guessing we're gonna blow them up though before we get close enough to actually do a hand-to-hand -hand combat battle. We got so much firepower, we don't really have to worry about getting that close to them anymore. 
And getting that close would take too long. Gosh darn it. Now they got me mad. Like, we just fought someone. We didn't even move the length of a Nats, you know, you know what, and bam! Hit again. You guys gonna go away someone else's time? Seriously. What What's appealing about my fleet that makes all these guys want to attack it? They're like, oh, you got the medics on board now. We want them. Why? Because we all have space scurvy. Or is it space gonorrhea, but... Yeah, just just throw space on there. It makes it sound more imposing. Well, let's take care of that enemy. They're gonna leave me alone for a bit now, so I actually can get out of this sector. Yeah, let's head back to Central. Well, we're gonna be heading towards um. Let's see. Where's the planet? Oh, whatever. You know, I'll find it as I go. Um, let's see. How far back is it? Ah, dang, it's all the way back there. Okay. Bump. Bump. We're going all the way out to the middle of nowhere, I guess. Huh. How do they support these large populations on these planets anyway? It's kind of crazy. Geez, you take out the pirate leaders in this sector, and they still send people after you. Like, jeez, give it up, man. You're not getting revenge on me. I'm just too deadly. Well, I'll take it. Probably should have dodged up, you know, with how long I was taking, but screw it. I don't need that. Now let's get in a melee battle, just so I feel like I've done something different for a little bit. Now, shoot! Ah, we got off before they had a chance to do anything. <laughs> They're like, we didn't even pick our command yet, and you're all dead. Now, if I could sell their ships for additional money and stop blowing them up. Of course, if they did something like that, I guess melee battles would make you way too much money. Okay, let's um get this done. Yep. We're all good. Well, now, several ships ahead. They look like regional Algavian forces. Regional forces, huh? Even if they are, they're kind of hanging around a weird spot, don't you think? And now they're firing on us. Interesting. Hmm. What the? They're firing at us. What the, Gruss? What are they thinking? Patch me through. Oh, you have, huh? Yeah, let's see. Your name was... Ah, who gives a crap? The Commander of the Lux Base. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I would say what I thought your name was, but it's not appropriate, so... We'll just move on, you know, and just say you're a guy with no name, because... You're kind of dumb to try and pick a fight with us at this point. Yeah, you're kind of forgettable. So like a fish stuck in the back of my throat. Oh, I I'm sure you haven't, but don't worry. You'll forget about me soon enough, because you won't remember anything at all. Destroy him! Oh look, he's got five ships! Five! That's, that's actually almost respectable. For a loser. Yeah, I know. I only have three, but my ships are as powerful as ten. And seriously, look at how few ships he has left. Well, down to one ship. What you gonna do? Oh, look, he's trying to run. You call that a barrage? Here, eat that. Was well, he trying to close the gap? No, he's backing off again. Fire on a sorry button. Blow him out of the sky. Oh, it looks like the rat managed to survive, Yuri. Eh, I'm not being rough enough. Someone kick him in the groin. Give one more order, Commander, and I'll knock you into grus. Just as long as you do it through his dick. <laughs> Seriously. Kick it, punch it, stomp on it a few times. He has it coming. 
And I bet you know what happened to the Epitaph Pro ship, too, don't ya? What on earth are you talking about? It's just hiding out here from the Central Forces. Sure about that? Yes, quite sure. Eh, it looks like he's telling the truth for a change. Doesn't mean I can't stomp on his balls anyway. Well, they cramped orders because you're going into the storeroom. What storeroom? I don't have a storeroom. You mean a broom closet? We might have one of those somewhere. Eh, it's not far enough up your rear yet. Let's take it in further. Well, there we go. Now let's see. Oh, yeah, we can upgrade our ship again. Sweet. Um, let's see. What do I want to do? Um, attack range. I can't hit from far away enough yet. I'm not satisfied. Now then. Let's just buy everything. Well, this will be it for now. Next time we can finish our business here, which requires us to set up a recruitment flag and stuff, and then, you know, do some other work before we head back and drop off our prisoner, because, you know, we gotta do that at some point. Despite, despite how much I love just shoving him in a storeroom closet for, you know, forever. Or spacing him, that might honestly be preferable, you know, just throw him off the ship without a spacesuit. Then he doesn't have to bother anyone ever again. Until next time, then. <laughs> See ya.